Hi, this is Dee. I'm at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in the Mars Base One Engineering Lab. One of the things that astronauts need to train for is how to work in microgravity. A lot of people think that you can just flip a switch and float on Earth, but physics hasn't allowed us to figure out how to do that yet. The only way to train for microgravity is to either be in space or to find some way to simulate that microgravity experience on Earth. One of the things that astronauts do to train for microgravity is spend time in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab at Johnson Space Center. The Neutral Buoyancy Lab is basically a giant swimming pool, and in that pool are simulators of anything that the astronauts are going to be working on. That pool is so big they can actually put a full-sized model of the International Space Station in there and the astronauts can put on their spacesuits, go underwater, and work on the equipment that they would be working on if they were in space. In order for this to work, however, the, the astronauts have to be weighted so that they are neutrally buoyant. And what that means is they don't float, but they don't sink. Instead, they stay wherever they are until an outside force acts on them to move them. If you remember Newton's laws, inertia, an object at rest will remain at rest, an object in motion will remain in motion until acted upon by an unbalanced outside force. We're going to make our own model of the neutral buoyancy lab here in our, in our laboratory. This is something that you can do at home as well. All you need is a big jar or bucket of water, some empty prescription bottles, and something to weight them with. In this case, I've used pennies, but you can also use sand or even water. This one is weighted pretty heavily, and so it's going to sink. It's not buoyant at all. This one is weighted lightly, and so it is buoyant, it's going to float. But this is not neutrally buoyant. If I try to push it under, I'm going to require some force in order to do that. So this one is weighted so that it's neutrally buoyant, which means it's going to stay wherever I put it, as long as I release it very carefully so that I'm not accidentally pushing it up or down. I think I just pulled that one up by mistake. What I can do here is very, very easily push it somewhere else in the pool. I can also pick it up, move it around. Now, if yours is floating a little bit more than you'd like, all you have to do is add a little bit more sand, maybe add a drop of water. I've had to play around with this one a bit. But you can see the difference. If I try to pull up the heavy one, I really cannot do it with the pipe cleaner. This one is very easy to move around. Make your own neutral buoyancy lab at home and see what combination of materials you can use in order to get it to float just the way you want it to. Remember, this is one of the ways that astronauts can train to live and work in weightlessness, but it's something that you can do too. If you know how to swim and you have a big deep swimming pool, you can go into that pool with parental supervision, please. And you can weight yourself so that you're floating just beneath the surface of the water. Don't strap weights onto yourself to do that, though, unless you're a licensed scuba diver. But you can hold on to things and see at which point you're not going to sink, but you're not going to pop right up to the top either. You can do it at home inside. You can do it out in the pool with parent supervision and being careful. And while you're doing that, you can think, Hey, I'm in training to be an astronaut. This is Dee from Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex saying have a great day and keep looking up.